this is Kimball the recycle shop and uh, I've come in to get some shoes but I'm not a teenage girl and they don't have anything for me apart from uh, these which are too small but I wouldn't be seen dead in those uh, th this is Kimball and this shop is full seven days a week from 10 o'clock in the morning till 10 o'clock at night this is full this place they sell everything and anything they also buy things at first uh, I tried to sell something to this co to this company and it was like the uh, remnants of a of a ironmonger shop the first time I brought them they were too dusty they wouldn't have them and then I got called back to the to the guy and the next time I brought some stuff it was uh, it was cool they and I sold like a lot of stuff for 25,000 yen so I was very very happy because I got money for taking it away as well but like like I say they have everything here everything from clothes uniforms uh, where are the kimonos the kimono should be around here somewhere so jeans t-shirts can't see any kimonos heavy coats oh like this is maybe a new section they've got none yeah they've got uh, they've got a lot of guitars looks like all Japan's musicians have given it up. It's part of a drum kit there, amplifiers, and that's a little, that's a very cheap Japanese music thing there. What is these, of course, oh look at these, um, these are massive paper umbrellas, obviously not to uh, open up here. These are things from that like, shrine, little shrine there. Some vases. And I don't know, if that, I think that could be a, a Buddha cross with a monkey, I'm not too sure. I think, yeah, I'm sure that some of you know these. Is that one, is that a Pokemon character? Yeah, so they always uh, get things like this in here when they don't sell. And maybe one of my favourite sections coming up is the, uh, is the wine. No, that's not bad. I don't know if that's Nihon Shu. Could be. Yeah, it is. That's a Japanese sake. That's uh, two big bottles there for 1900 yen. And they do have uh, foreign wine here as well. Sometimes they do have some good stuff here. I've, I've, I have had some good stuff here for about 800 yen. Like prize winning, prize winning wine. Oh, that's uh, Gandia. I don't know if that's an Indian wine. I don't know. <laughs> Sounds Indian. And some Chilean wine there. There's not half a bottle there. So these, this, there's four of these shops, and the guy, very, very wealthy, he like he puts the recycle items on his yellow Lamborghini. And there we have all the uh, pots and pans and things. And uh, like I say, they're just taking cash hand over fist at these place places. And when I was uh, full. Filling houses up. I used to come here and buy. I used to come here and buy stuff. But if you look at this dresser here, very cheap, three thousand, three thousand six hundred, and that's that's not a bad dresser. That for two and a half thousand yen, if you need, if you're just uh, furnishing a place. And that's a kiji pheasant. Some screens there, and they do have some very strange artwork here. I mean, like, who is going to buy something like that? It's a, I don't know if it's a fancy hat rack or what. And, and there you go, that's a ornate uh, warrior. Obviously he's doing one-handed push-ups there, that guy. Hello. Hello. <laughs> and like I said, they, they do have, like prices have dropped here, you know, and oh, look, at these, look at these two lions here. They might, this could be 4th Plinth talk at Trafalgar Square. Just look at these massive lines. Looks as though the, uh, are they, maybe the bronze, I don't know. But these are, uh, what's it? Bronze, so, so bronze rayon, 315,000 yen, two lions. So there you go. Look, they might have to melt those down. They got 
David. All right, David. Now, this, this is a place that I always come into. It's uh, all the sofas there. These tables, you know, these tables probably cost a lot of money when they first got them, you know, like tw 20, 30 years ago. But now you can have like this table like 840 yen. And I'm sure that if you could ship all these to England, I'm sure people that love Japanese stuff would pay some money for those. And there's, they have some scrolls here. And sometimes they do have expensive ones. You got Chuko Hin, the second hand. These are all the kids' desks that cost between like 30 and 40,000 yen. And now they're selling very cheap. By the way, the kids never use them. Kids never use those desks. I like that painting, that's quite cheap, 1500 yen. Now this is where I usually come because I'm always losing my tools and uh, there you go. This is, they've got some new big spanners in here for a few hundred yen. It's over there. Oh look at that little kiosk. See if there's anything there. I do need a, well, for look at the size of that spanner, I've never seen a spanner. Just look at the size of that. They are brilliant. It looks as though the company went under. Look at it. I could do with a saw, but because but the one that's wrong with mine is just the brushes are the brushes are uh, missing. Oh, they've worn out. These these are little motors, and what and where you find these are outside your houses, and they go they take all the uh, the when you you have like a, a poo tank, and these like it's like a pump. To keep up, to stop the bad air from building up outside your house. Look, a couple of compressors there. Not too sure. What, what's that there? I don't know. I'm not sure what that is. And this is uh, the office, like the office furniture section. I don't know what it is. That looks quite interesting. It looks like some kind of cutting tool. Uh, if anybody's seen one of those, I've never seen one of those before. If anyone can tell me what that is, 5,000 years. Anyway, gotta go. Bye bye.